Moving on, our next story is about a new innovation that can help bridge the digital divide. The new technology aims to provide affordable and reliable internet access to people even in remote areas. Here is how. Several companies around the world are focusing on providing internet to people in remote areas. One such is the blockchain-based mobile network operator, World Mobile. It's aiming to provide affordable internet access to unconnected people around the world. How? With the help of aerostatic balloons. These blimp-like aerostats are called air nodes. They're tethered in a particular location. According to the company, they provide the same coverage as 12 traditional telecom towers. It means fewer telecommunication sites have to be built and maintained and fewer cables need to be laid. We connect the unconnected and the underserved. There's around 2.5 billion people on the planet that are unconnected. And right now there is no plausible solution to connect them. We use aerostats and a ground network in order to be able to connect people. Here's how the technology works. The balloon acts as a telecommunications tower in the sky. The company uses a hybrid mobile network of aerial and ground assets to connect people. Customers can directly connect to the balloon's payload using their smartphone in the same way they would to a traditional cell tower. So the aerostats, the balloons as people call them, um, there's been quite some good coverage of that recently. Uh, they provide ubiquitous coverage for huge amounts of distances, around 130 kilometers, sitting at a 300 to 500 meter altitude. But of course, you may be able to see two or three million people, but you need ground assets, traditional towers, uh, that, that will take the, the capacity of all of these people. But it's not a one for all solution. You have, in some cases, Wi-Fi is a perfect solution where people will come to the device. In an African village, for example. In other cases, you use TV white space and unlicensed spectrums. In other cases, it's, you run a 4G and 5G network where the devices are compatible. So it's not a one for all solution. And what we're really smart at doing is being able to adapt to what is needed on the ground very quickly and provide a solution right now. After launching in Zanzibar, the company is now expanding rapidly to provide low-cost internet access to people in remote areas who lack access to traditional internet service providers. The need for connectivity is all around the world. It does, it's the emerging markets, Africa, the continent as an example, is the least unconnected place on the planet. So this is where we've started. We started in Zanzibar as a proof of concept. We spent the last two years there fine-tuning our sharing economy. And now we're moving into uh, Nigeria, Kenya, Mozambique, and we have a whole waiting list of countries there. But we're also in the United States of America, also in the UK, and also in Asia, in Pakistan. According to the International Telecommunication Union, one-third of the world's population remained unconnected to the internet in 2022. The majority of those people were from developing countries. World Mobile aims to address this issue by providing a low-cost, decentralized internet service that can reach remote areas where traditional providers have not been able to operate.